Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is a reading for Sagittarius, yeah, about your love life and um, their current feelings towards you if you have someone in mind. I'm also using my very own tarot deck, the Nomad Soul Wire Tarot. If you want to get a copy, I'll post the link in the description box. Or you can go to my Etsy shop and search Nomad Soul Warrior. You will see the listing of this deck. This is a limited edition, so it's also good for you to have your own deck so that you can, you know, draw a card per day and see how that resonates with you. What's your message per day, yeah? But let's go and talk about your love life, Sagittarius. That's what you're in for today. Sagittarius in love. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter in love. Wow, Wheel of Fortune. I love that. The lovers. Three of Wands. Two of Pentacles. The Emperor. And the Five of Wands. Wow, you'll be busy. Five of Swords. You know what I am getting? That you might have left a situation behind. Yeah. And I feel like you have left a situation behind, or this could be a situation where you are, you pulled back, you know, or somebody here has pulled back to assess whether the other party is interested or not. So it's a test. Yeah, there was a test of love, of, you know, before you can move things forward. You throw a little bit of test, whether it's you or them. Yeah, but let's see. Let's get you more cards here. For some of you, I am also seeing not about love, but more of if you're waiting for an opportunity to come your way, it could be a job, it could be money, opportunities, right? Or, yeah. I feel like you will have two options coming towards you yeah and um you know you'll get busy deciding which one yeah at least two options at least so if you have been waiting for something to come your way they will be rushing in 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 in, in this month i feel yeah okay what is this wheel of fortune two of cups wow uh five of pentacles the Magician, Queen of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Five of Cups, Death, okay, Ten of Swords, The Devil, and The Strength. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of, Pent uh, Queen of Swords. All right. You know what? Before I even go into the deeper readings, um, Sagittarius, if there are options coming your way, yeah, um, impulsiveness is not the key here. So in making impulsive decisions, impulsive actions, all those things, it's not the, the it's, it's not a good time right now. But rather, um, whenever you are presented with options, whether it be options in love, options in your career, it's good to step back and think, uh, think uh, further, yeah, based on your experience. How did things play out in the past for you if you had that situation in, in previously? Yeah, that's when the uh, Queen of Swords is, is kind of saying, yeah, before you make any executive decision, um, think back how did this play out in the past yeah before yeah so that you can make or you can have calculated uh, steps or you know calculated risks yeah so to speak so you don't end up with nothing at the end okay now let's talk about love Oh, wow. So if you have left a situation or you have thrown some tests here towards someone or they did to you, I feel like things will start to move this time around. 
yeah it feels like the test is almost um, or has has been accomplished and um, somebody has vetted that this connection is somehow good and they are willing to move forward with falling in love <laughs> yeah with falling in love so there was a test there possibly you were testing somebody or they were testing you to see your commitment or how interested you are and it feels like it's good it feels like it's good and it feels like things are going to be deepening more and more um, you will find that you are you have more commonalities with this person you will find that um, this person will show you know how much they care how much they are attracted to you and you have someone here who is very nurturing yeah deep inside this person has a very nurturing attitude it could be a cancer type of energy yeah um doesn't have to be but that nurturing side of a cancer i am seeing it here somebody who loves the get together to take to take care of you somebody who who knows yeah what you want or what you need even before you speak yeah so this is the type of person i'm seeing here and i feel like they are willing to do what what's possible or what's needed yeah to cultivate this connection with you um somehow this person feels lucky if ever you would you know come back you know if you've tested them and the, you have pulled back this person is kind of waiting yeah waiting to see if you would ever come back yeah somehow they know that you are your own person you are a free spirited kind of person you do your own thing you are cap more than capable yeah to take care of yourself you are self sufficient and when you offer yeah when you offer something towards this person perhaps when you call them when you reach out to them definitely this person will be very very happy yeah will be very very happy somehow that is something that they are expecting too yeah but however things have played out in in just the recent past you know with this ending here i see um it feels like it could have been a test for someone but it was taken in a different way by the receiving party yeah that means that if you have tested them for them it feels like rejection yeah so the test wasn't really understood by the person especially if you're dealing with someone who operates more on their emotional side yeah because the moment you pull away that person will will think that you are no longer interested yeah but in your end you're all you're kind of testing the 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 waters yeah which is not bad but i i think that's a good thing to know so that you know when you reach back out or when you guys reconnect then you know how would this person react yeah to the situation and and somehow you know how to blend in with that watery type of energy the emotional side mm -hmm. at this point if you have pulled away this person might think that there is no other way to fix this this is done this is hard and you know this is someone who is not just crying but um really really disappointed yeah so like i said if you offer out towards this person that could turn their life inside out yeah and that could change their mood from being very sad to very happy yeah very elated <laughs> that's what i'm getting yeah and perhaps you already had done that in the past um sagittarius i feel like you may have also thrown out some tests towards this person or, or towards someone else in the past and you know how that person reacted so that could also be a message that if that has been done in the past you see how the other party has reacted and how this new this person that you are dealing with right now would react it's something that is good to notice yeah, to see how different people react to different to the same situation, but two people could react differently. 
yeah and that is good to know and something that is good to be put into your pocket of experience now um the more you prolong the testing the more things will become more toxic for both of you so you know if you test it's also better to show yeah some form of appreciation to keep things moving so don't just test and then leave the person behind for like two months or things like that that is pretty hard for especially if you're dealing with another sign another person with the you know different set of qualities yeah or this could be um this could be what they are doing to you this could be for the cross watcher if you're dealing with sagittarius and you're doing this so it could be that sagittarius would think of it in this way yeah so take it however that resonates with you but the more um, you prolong the test without communicating well without um, showing some form of interest or not even showing what you've got the more things will become more toxic which definitely from the lover's energy towards the devil energy that's not a good thing yeah this is a beautiful energy yeah lovers you will be for the lover's energy i depicted it here as two people in the desert like embracing each other's energy here right enjoying the time together but here you get stuck and full of questions confusion oh is the other person testing you all those questions they um tests are necessary but um at some point you know we're human beings we have the capability to talk and communicate and and that really goes well good communication really goes well with relationships especially if you're trying to build one yeah um all right that's what i am getting here for you i'm gonna leave it at that let me know if this resonates in the comments section and don't forget to hit like and subscribe